to judge anybody for anything. I have my own experiences, and then I have clients that go through the same experiences. But from a, um, a counseling perspective, from a life coach perspective, if you are a life coach, if you are a therapist, if you are a counselor, then you will understand what it is that I'm talking about. You can have clients that are literally are going through the same thing that you are going through. However, you don't insert your experience with what they are going through. You are merely a listening ear. I've said it before, anybody can hear if they have the tools to do so. But listening requires thinking. It requires processing. So if you are a counselor, a therapist, a life coach, try to avoid the temptation to insert yourself in someone else's experience because it, you, it, what will happen is that you will become biased. And that's what you don't want to do. That's what I don't want to do. I do not want to be biased. What I notice, however, is that when it comes to females, and I'm, I'm talking about like single, single mothers that are raising their children, single women who are raising their daughters, single women who are raising their sons are experiencing the lack of ownership on behalf of the father. It takes two to bring a child into this world. One person should not have to be responsible for everything. What, what the non-custodial parent contributes to the child is just that, merely a contribution. Unfortunately, it, that it is what it is. Unfortunately, you're going to have to put on your big girl panties and put on your big boy underwear and suck it up and do what you have to do to make sure that your child has everything he or she needs. First of all, God already knows what we stand in need of and he also knows the desires of our hearts. So don't get discouraged. As sad as it is, don't get discouraged and don't put try to avoid the temptation to put um, to put those uh, burdens off on your child because they're just a child. And I don't care what the uh, non-custodial mom or non-custodial dad has done or has not done, that child is going to love and desire and long for a relationship with his or her non-custodial parent. That's just how it is. And there should be no reason why we persuade them one way or another or put them in the middle to where they feel guilty if they want to spend time with their mom or dad. We don't want the child to feel, it's not about us. We have our own issues that we're dealing with when it comes to what we know to be right and wrong. But the child doesn't know that. But trust and believe, when that child gets older and begin to understand and begin to see things from an adult perspective and have children of their own, they are going to look back and they are going to say, wow, my mom rocked with me or my dad rocked with me. So everything that you're doing, custodial parent, you do the best that you can at the time with what you have and you're doing a great job. It may not seem like you're doing a great job, do we have areas of opportunity? Absolutely. Do we get angry, upset, disheartened? Absolutely. But it's not the child's fault. So don't insert your child into your baby mama or your baby daddy drama. Because 
what they need to focus on is school, what they want to be when they grow up, and they're looking at you, your moves, your actions, your attitude, your behavior, your conversation, and your interaction with their non-custodial parent. They are taking mental notes, trust and believe. So keep doing what you're doing, keep pushing. God's got you. Stay motivated. That's my golden nugget for you today. It's Drina from Drina's Haven 916 and Alternative Life Solutions. I love you all. Have a blessed day, morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you might be in the world. Talk to you later.